Hey, it's Jerry with TradeTheFifth.com. I wanted to go through a couple of good short trades we had yesterday in ES and YM. Uh, I'm just going to go through a couple. I think we had uh, three or four that we tweeted out uh, that ended up being pretty good winners. First one here in ES. Uh, we had an, a signal earlier in the morning. Um, let's see, it was around 10.30, 10.45 that ended up not going in before it hit the stop so that was in the gated trade uh, but we did you know start out the morning fairly bullish we hit the uh, 2650 area and really just started exhausting a lot of pretty good volume and from there we worked down all during the day and this trade didn't work out we didn't get an entry before the stop so that canceled that trade however the second trade after we had a little bit of a uh, bear flag on a five minute chart on this move down uh, ended up you know exhausting a little bit of volume on the upside we got some good down volume uh, as denoted by the red candle here which is uh, volume greater than the signal uh, the candle before it and a close uh, on a down bar and then we got the signal and from there we got uh, tweeted out in our inside tweet group uh, an entry at uh, 26.25 with a seven point stop loss and took the trade off at seven point gain on ES, which is 50 bucks per contract. So that was a $350 per contract trade in less than, I think it was probably about uh, 12 minutes or so. We ended up getting that one on a nice bullish move down. We've been starting to take a lot of these trades off at 100% times risk. Really, we're looking at, uh, you know, in between a little swing or a scalping trade uh, with this black box breakout indicator. There are probably some other signals we could look at to take, stay in some of these longer or, and trail the stop on a one or two minute chart. But in this particular case, uh, we're trialing just taking off uh, the one to one risk uh, gains that we have here. Uh, and this one was a little bit more than 350 bucks, I think, when we took it off. <clears throat> we had a similar trade. Oh, I'll <clears throat> also point out that uh, we ended up, you know, with the cloud setup, we have uh, the multiple time frame dot cloud. We had the uh, bottom row, our anchor trend still set at 30 minutes, and we had, you know, decreasing time frames from there. And we did go from a bullish to bearish reversal pretty heavy. Uh, and we ended up being below all of the uh, cloud time frames here denoted by the square dot. So that was also another confirming um, stay in a short, you know, kind of biased trade, which is uh, how our signaling is working here. And I'll show this similar thing in YM. We had the similar trade uh, in this one, although we didn't get the earlier signal like we did in ES in this period. We did get a valid signal at 24,387 on a five minute chart. Again, all bearish on the multiple time frame cloud where, you know, the, this is a tick signal that I'm using uh, here and working on that a little bit in the background just to watch what the tick activity is but you can see we're starting to get lower and lower and lower um, lows of the day for ticks continuing to show some bearish uh, momentum and in this particular case we got the 24,387 with a 24,451 stop uh, and that stop is a nice one because you know YM has these sticky points at the 20s, 50, 80s, and uh, double zero numbers. So a 24, 451 stop is a kind of uh, decent area uh, for a stop with an entry of 24, 387. So that was 64 ticks uh, that we ended up capturing in that one. Uh, we did enter here and similar to ES. And what we had tweeted out in our tweet service uh, that we have going on in the background, we ended up taking that 64 tick win uh, for YM. That was another uh, $320 for the win on that one. So we are starting to accumulate pretty good profits uh, for what we've been tracking in January and uh, having some conditions that we're doing these trades uh, within between Paul and I. And I just wanted to share a couple of great trades yesterday on a fairly good bullish move or bearish move down uh, capturing some of these bear flag type signals uh, with entries in the black box breakout indicator confirmed by the multiple time frame dot cloud um, hope that helps take care guys and we'll keep the videos going take care bye